Good morning, folks. This is Fred Thompson here. Today I'm here to tell you what causes cancer and the truth behind cancer. Folks, they've been hiding this forever, I believe. I've had this virus for a long time. Yet, excuse me, my voice is messed up. I just got hit and ran the other day. I have whiplash. But that's not going to stop me from telling you the truth about what's going on. This virus, herpes, causes cancer. This is the truth, people, I'm telling you. This virus does more than cancer. It causes a lot more than cancer. It causes bipolar. It causes uh, schizophrenia. It causes all these mental illnesses. And this is, they don't tell you this. They, the government's not telling you this. They just give people a check and say, here, here you go. You're crazy. Uh, you know, go be crazy. Folks, this little simple virus, the zoster, herpes, Ramsey Hutt, you name it, all the names they give it. This virus is the cause of cancer. I was on MS World not too long ago, and I've seen this several times in my life. Several times. I was talking to a woman on there who's, she had MS, and her son two of her sons had autism and her husband had bipolar <coughs> folks something's a little fishy there don't you think you know we now know that it's, you know, it's documented everywhere that it's a virus my doctor gave me something the other day I have never seen all of it lined up put on a piece of paper like this I mean, everything is just lined up about the virus, how it causes certain types of lung cancer and how it gets suppresses the immune system to, to allow cancer to form. Folks, this is cancer. This virus is cancer. This virus is the cause of multi, mental illness in America. We need to come up with this cure. We need to find this vaccine, folks. This has to happen in order to stop cancer and, and all the you know the mental illness that goes on every day. You know, I seen a man the other day. He wanted to pick up my cup and use my cup while I was on the phone. I said, "Man, done." He, he was already crazy. He didn't know anything. He was just out there talking to himself. People, I have seen some things that would blow your mind. It's not the first time I've you know, come in contact with somebody that said, well, uh, I was at DARS a long time ago and I ran into a girl, a lady that her daughter had it. She was in a wheelchair and her other daughter had attention deficit. They had her on Ritalin. You know, this virus is, is, is affecting a lot of people. And the answer to it is to come up with the cure, to come up with this vaccine and use these antiviral drugs to treat cancer and, you know, and stop all this nonsense, you know, with, with, with chemotherapy. You know, I'm not knocking that. That helps people and they should do it. But why not give us, you know, people, let's tell, let's force them into giving us the cure. The more people that talk about this, the more people that will make something happen. You know, I messed up, folks. I could barely talk, but I'm going to do this video because I'm tired of holding this in and not telling. I've been holding this in for five years. Five long years. First, I didn't go tell any, anything because I wanted to go get my life insurance and, and you know, give me some life insurance and, and be safe in if case that I did get sick. But that's over because the life insurance turned me down. So, you know, I have nothing to hide anymore. You know, I have this virus, and I've had it for a long time. I've caught several of these viruses. I caught one from a girl, and I'm going to post her name. Her name's Samantha. 
She stuck her tongue in my ear at the beach. She had herpes. I didn't know this until after I had slept with her. Her sister told me. She was crazy. She had bipolar. Her sister has bipolar. I've dated three women that are crazy, and they all have that virus, folks. All three of them had that virus. I have caught the virus myself three different times, four different times. The one from Samantha, as soon as she stuck her tongue in my ear at the beach, I was pretty careful otherwise, but she stuck her tongue in my ear at the beach, and it felt, folks, it felt like a fucking freight, I, 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 excuse my language, it felt like a freight train came through and hit me in the head, people. I mean, I couldn't think. It felt like I just got hit in the head. Folks. And then, and then you know, later, later, after I got back, you know, and, you know, me and this girl departed, we got back to Houston, and I started having this symptoms of the MS hug. Everything felt tight. My chest felt tight. I felt tight up here in the base of my skull. I couldn't. I just I couldn't function. I had caught and set it it gave me encephalitis, folks. Encephalitis. Which is multiple sclerosis, which is cancer. Another girl, her name is Tiffany. She had some kind of cancer. I know she had herpes. I seen it on her skin. I was very careful I didn't you know, mate with her or anything, sleep with her, but I still caught it, folks. I got it in my eye, and that's how this thing works, people. It's where you first make, it first makes contact is where it hits you the hardest. If it gets into your eye, somebody's talking to you, and they spit in your eye, then it, it's in, and that's where it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you in your brain. You're going to get encephalitis, and that, and that, you know, that's just how it works, people. This, this virus is cancer. This virus is multiple sclerosis. This virus is chronic fatigue syndrome. This virus is all of those syndromes. They can call it a thousand things, but why don't they just fix the virus? That's where we need to start, folks. We need to start by fixing the virus. We need to find, treat the virus with, you know, antiviral drugs and, and, you know, this needs to come to an end, folks. And somebody's got to talk about it. Somebody's got to come out and say, I have herpes, and I've seen all of this. I've had two aunts die from this, and my mother is now sick and going through some of the same things that I went through, the numbness and the cold weather and, and, you know, and these weird sensations. My stepfather is going numb now in his legs and in his arms in his sleep. I've got several people sick in my family right now from this virus, and I don't know what to do other than go for this study and hope that this study is going to make things different. This 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 study for multiple sclerosis. I'm gonna all I can do is hope that it's going to help find the answer and the cure. My aunt Marianne died of cancer, lung cancer, roughly six seven years ago. All the people I've come in contact with, there's been a lot of people I've come in contact with, folks, that died of cancer. You know, think about that, folks. My per the person at my storage, he got, shortly after I moved in, the man ends up with cancer. I got a light off his cigarette one time. I don't know if that's how it made contact or it spread, but that may be how it got him. It may have got on my fingertips touching his his cigarette, and then when he took a puff, it got into his lungs. So that's where it hit. It hit his lungs. Folks, this is how the virus works. I was at a zoo, folks, and a kid walked up beside me and touched me on my side. I didn't even know it was coming. You know, this kid just touched me. An hour later, I'm eating. You know, I got my shirt up because it's hot, and I look down. And I have a cluster of the zoster virus on my side, folks. 
it spreads just like that just like that that quick so I call poison control and the poison control lady tells me don't touch it if you touch it you can spread it to other places so that tells me folks that 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 means wherever the virus hits that's where it hits you if you swallow the virus and it gets into your colon somehow it's gonna cause colon cancer if you if you get it in your eye it's gonna call it can get in and cause brain and lung cancer if you get it in your lungs it causes cancer in your lungs if you get it in your you know, just wherever you get it first is where it's gonna hit you the hardest Folks, I'm about out of breath, and yeah, and I, you know, I'm tired of holding this in. This is this is the answer, people. This is the answer. Herpes, the zoster virus, all these conditions, encephalitis, mild forms of encephalitis. They've known this for years. I've found on the internet where it says mild forms of encephalitis cause mental disorders and seizures. It gets into the brain and, and causes. You know, mental disorders and seizures. You know, folks, that this this has got to come to an end, folks. Well, there's the answer, people. The truth about cancer, the truth about mental illness in America. Now it's up to you to make the difference. I've done just about all I can do by making this video. Goodbye, folks.